Hey everybody, just collected it. I'm back. I did a few uh, uploads of videos of um, Alex Ross's sketchbooks, and I got some other stuff I'm going to be doing. But I want to do a mail call. Try to break it up a little bit. I did some stuff from the previews as well. Um, it's Sunday, so I'm trying to do as many videos as I can. But I got some uh, mail call stuff. Three packages in the mail. Some of the stuff I don't know if I ordered or it's an A-OK -okay or what, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to open them up, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you what I picked up. But uh, let's op open up this one, then I'll show this one, and then I'll show the bigger one. I think uh, Andrew from uh, Australia said he said something was coming, but I'm not sure if this is it or not. But I'll open it up and let you guys see. Well, I'll be right back. Okay, I open up all the packages and everything. <clears throat> and um, Andrew has given me uh, a few books and everything. One from uh, a Marco Guzman, and he sent it to me. I'm not sure if it's a YouTuber or not, this one. Uh, he sent me Web of Spider-Man number 18, Where's Spider-Man? So it's like the, I guess it's the first appearance of Venom or something coming into uh, the Marvel Universe or something like that besides... <clears throat> Secret Wars number eight, because um, I, I don't remember this issue. I remember the issue, but I don't remember if I got it. I think I did, because I was collecting everything back then. But um, this is very cool. So where's Spider-Man? I guess he, he disappeared for a while. Uh, and, he, and the other book, Spectacular, and Peter Parker, and uh, Amazing, and this is Webb. So uh, I'd like to go back and through and read this, maybe do a flip through of it. <laughs> Because it'd be cool to see that. But thank you very much. So that's very cool. Look at that. And then <laughs> this was in there. Switch Comics. That was in there. And then Switch Comics. Etsy Switch Prints. <laughs> that's in there too. If I can get it to focus. But that was in there. So I'm trying to get stuff done with Collector Dude YouTube stuff because I still want to put it on my car and uh, just have it maybe some cards like that when I give away prizes and stuff like that to put it in there maybe a few of them you can pass them around or something just and when I'm out uh, I talk to some people at half price books at different comic book stores and I let them know what I do and I tell them about my channel and if I get a print made like that or a card I can um, pass it out my um, girlfriend's uh, daughter uh, she's good on the computer and everything, and she designed some stuff for coveted comics. And that's one thing I'm doing. I, we got a few books up now. I got to change the prices because I think they're a little high. And like I said before, when I first started doing this, I didn't want to sell any comic books and sell them really high. I don't care about making the money. I just would like to make my money back and, you know, just a little profit or something like that, just for the time it took to go to half price books and do hunts and stuff. I don't care about making a lot of money from it from them but I have so many books and if I sell them I'll do really good hopefully and then I put the money aside because in the future I'd like to buy a Corvette a Corvette the C8 if you've seen the C8 Corvettes and everything I'm gonna do a video and once and I'm gonna build my Corvette online and if I ever get a chance to get one I've talked to one of my the guy my dealership about getting one and he says they get allocations sometimes and if you can get one he'll let me know and my car is well wanted and everything and the Corvettes are well wanted so if I can get one I'll get one and I'll try to do a videos on my orange Camaro and the Corvette when I get it but it may it'll take some time because you can wait up to three years for these things and, and for these beautiful cars but I'm willing to do the wait because they're awesome but now okay back to the comic books this is something else Andrew got for me and this is from Jerry the Jitterbug, <laughs> and I I see that I have subscribed to him. I I went I go through uh, different channels that I like to watch, and I'll see different names, and I'll go to their uh, whatever channels they uh, they have on their uh, page, and I'll go to those, and I'll just click on them. boom boom boom. But if I, if I see they talk about comic books, and they do different things with reviews and collecting and hunts and hauls I'll just click on them and then I'll go and watch a few videos and then go do something else because there's so many but this one's called it's it's he sent me about like five or six comic books 
and said, Dear Gary, here's the prize package for my 1250 subscriber giveaway. <laughs> Your friend Andrew prize tagged you. Enjoy, Jerry the Jitterbug. <laughs> so I was like, all right, that's cool. So he sent me these, and I went to check and see if I was subscribed to Jerry, and I am. So I've been there for a while, but like I said, I don't, I don't think I've got to watch any of his videos lately. And he does some really cool uh, videos. So if you can subscribe to him, go subscribe to him. What I'm going to do, I'll put his name in the uh, description below. I don't know if I'm going to put a link in there. I think the only way I can put a link in there is if I have a, my computer. My phone doesn't do it, and the, the, app, the uh, iPad doesn't do it. But the computer, it'll show you a, a, a link when you go to him, and you can share it and stuff like that. But, okay, there's here's one of the books. This is like Red Rider Comics number 109. Uh very cool but that's that it's a little bit bigger like golden age it's a golden age bag i think but very cool that's the cover of that i have to do a flip through of it and then i got a donald duck number 39 <laughs> slow trojan at play he don't look too happy though that they're hitting him with uh, snowballs <laughs> that's cool then I got a Thor 180, When Gods Go Mad. Thor's losing it on a building or something like that. He's swinging it, swinging that hammer, and he hit a building. And look at people down below. So he's got to be very careful. But he's gone mad. So then this one's cool. With one word, with one magic word, Shazam. Number 18. It says, Saturday, Saturday's newest TV star, the world's mightiest mortal, 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 mo the world's mightiest mortal. So I'm getting tired. Who called me for help? Ribbit. I did. <laughs> the celebrated talking frog of Blackstone Forest. <laughs> now, if he shoots him, he's going to shoot his hand. He's like, he must just be holding him hostage, trying to get something from Shazam. So, uh, and here we go. Maybe some beer, like in the movie. <laughs> and then they get it, and then they don't like it. Mark Spector, Moon Knight, number 21. Very cool. These are cool. I found a couple of these at Half Price Books. They're going for a little bit of money, but it's very cool to have them. Like, like When I get extras like this, I can use them for giveaways. And then the last one, I've seen this before, and I've had this in my collection before. Superman in Action Comics, number 662. This came out February 1991. Wow. Probably before that. At long last, The Secret Revealed. There it is. Very cool. But thank you, Andrew. You keep giving me more and more comic books. This is very cool. Like I said, I got to do flip throughs of these because I keep talking about it and everything. And look, the books that I get, it's like when you, you know, when you get a good book and you just, you want to look through it and everything and you go, you know what? I think somebody else would like to see this too. And like uh, 32 pages on Instagram. He's doing flip throughs of a lot of different books. So very cool. But uh, hopefully more people do that because some books that 32 doesn't have or that I don't have. If you have a comic book and you have a channel and you can flip through the book and maybe review it, talk about it. Or just do like 32. 32, all he does is just flip through and he doesn't say anything. He just lets you see the artwork. That's cool. But if you want to talk about it, maybe you can do a review. That's what I like to do too. I like to flip through it and then talk about it a little bit. Talk about the artwork and stuff like that and how they did the pages and stuff and the story. And maybe do some of the voices. But okay, I'm going to set these aside. Those are... <laughs> it's like Christmas. I mean, I mean, or your birthday or something like getting getting comic books in the mail. And then this is one that I ordered for myself, because and I forgot when it was coming in, but uh, it said it on my, uh, you know, you get it in your email, so it, my notifications and everything, so it came in the mail, and I'm like, oh, cool. And it was the only one, because I love Alex Ross, I like Kurt Busiek and Brent Anderson, so I ordered this. Very, very cool. Astro City Metro Book Number 1. I can't wait to get all of them. It's like a whole collection of, uh, it says, Kurt Busiek's Astro City, Volume 1, 1 through 6, and then Volume 2, 1 through 12, plus Wizard Presents Astro City, Half. And 
that's all in the back there and then there's all the the books if I can get it to focus they're all there but it's this is very cool and it's a new cover by Alex awesome but just I love uh, the artwork inside I love Brent Anderson's artwork everything I talked to Kurt Busiek on uh, line one time a few years ago and I went to his page and I talked to him and I asked him I said I think I asked him to do like a large oversized mag or big oversized book with Alex Ross's artwork in it I thought he would be able to do it with Alex and everything like that or him write the story and or maybe uh, Brent could pencil the pages and everything and have Alex paint over top of it wouldn't that be beautiful to see a big a tabloid size book of Astro City and I said asked him if he could do it he said he wasn't sure if it, if it could sell it was some, I can't remember exactly what he said but he wasn't sure if it would sell or something like that or he'd think about it but I think it would sell really would good because I, I mean I, I would buy one because I just love the artwork and everything and just all this stuff these books are just so cool the artwork in them and everything and I like I said I'm going to go through this I love this too. Very cool. Man, and then uh, all the different characters that he comes up with. The story with um, the confessor in it, that was cool. I remember seeing that, the artwork and everything where Alex covered his face up and you can see that looks like Alex. That's cool. But um, And then I bought this one. I liked it, but um, I probably wouldn't have got it if I if it didn't have this but I do like it and if I saw it at the comic book store instead of online I would have bought it but I bought this online because it had this in it that and all three signatures Kurt Busiek, Brent Anderson and Alex Ross that is very cool and this this cost me about 30 bucks something like that somewhere around that area 25 to 30 dollars and I was like really and with the signatures in it I had to grab it you know I like signatures and everything, but I'm going to keep this, and it's just a nice feel. It's like the George Perez book that came out for uh, the uh, comic book, uh, what is it, um, Defense Fund or something like that? What is it, what is it for? I want to say it correctly, but what, they, what the book that they printed to have George, uh, to help out George, but also to help out other artists and writers to go to that uh, legal defense fund or um, something for... Uh, insurance and stuff like that but that's a cool book and people are selling them online and getting them online and showing them on Facebook and everything that's a cool book but I got the original one that's real big with the tabloid and everything and I, I, as soon as I see that stuff from my favorite artist usually I just go buy it buy it right away because I know it's gonna be worth something plus it's just cool to have stuff from your favorite artist so when I saw that I bought that right away I got a couple of books like from George Perez and Alex Ross and stuff like that that are um big books like that i buy them right away but uh that's all i have to show you but i wanted to show just to show that and everything but this is really cool and thank you andrew and everybody else that helped them M marco and uh all the people that worked and jerry the jitterbug <laughs> thank you for get, sending the prizes to me and everything i said i got to keep up with andrew and find stuff for him to send him in the mail plus other people that I want to do AOKs for. I'm trying to look at all my subscribers and seeing the people that I have uh, addresses for. I'm trying to just f pick up random books and when I see something, if I think you'll like it or it's cool, I'll send it in a mail to you and everything because I, I got a whole stack of books. Like I got about, my gosh, probably about six or 700 books sitting over here and I have these. I got two short boxes of books I got from Half Price Books that I um, haven't been able to show you yet, but I'm going to show you after I stop this video because I wanted to just show those and then um, have it be like the AOK -okay, uh, mail call for Collected Dude and then I'll do another video after that and then I'm going to try to do some more previews and some more Alex Ross uh, sketchbooks because those are beautiful and I got uh, this thing here this big, this big box here it's like <laughs> it's got big uh, artwork of Alex Ross in it and I have to do an unboxing soon so you can see what that is but uh, other than that that's all I got right now but thank you very much for watching and I have other stuff to show you it's just 
It's just I'm trying to get it all organized so I can get it all done. But I'm having fun, and I hope you're having fun too. And thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, let me know what you think. But you guys have a great rest of the week, and Collector Dude is out.